And welcome to Two Hits Reading Comics. Today we're talking about we only find them when they're dead. Uh, go ahead and hit like, share, subscribe, um, follow, whatever you it is on whatever platform you're listening or watching on. Uh, go ahead and share. Tell your friends about us if you enjoy the show. Um, really helps us out and helps us spread. Um, and that's about it. So we'll get into the show. Welcome to the best damn book club on the internet. My name's Ryan Talmadge. That's Davis Crocker. This is Tootie's Reading Comics, episode 144. Today we're talking about We Only Find Them When They're Dead. Woohoo! Pretty fun book out of Boom Studios. It is. Um, still bulk recording. Woohoo! Uh, this is April. I think it's March 11th. It's March 11th, yeah. Yeah. Um, Shazam comes out this week. Yes, it does. And I have uh, no could, desire to go see it. Give zero shits to go give, watch it. Don't really care. Like even DC doesn't seem like they're even focused. Well, on... Well, no, it's not a part of. Right. It's, it's like even even they're like, yeah, um, movie's coming out. It was made. Go see it. The first one was All pretty right. decent too. But... Um, but it's just it just seems like you're not you're not at least gonna put a little more effort into it. I mean, even Zachary Levi's barely even. I mean, he is Shazam, and he's barely even talking about, hey, probably hey saying, it's here, it's there, go. Probably trying to save on that marketing budget. Oh, I'd imagine. Um, I mean, because I mean, you sit there and watch what happened to Black Adam with The Rock, pushing oh, it so hard. So bad. We still haven't watched it. No. Um, that's another, That's one of the main reasons. Like, You took his one and only, really, like main villain, and... Made him an anti-hero, so... Yeah. What are we doing? Right. It, and I've had some discussions with some friends at work, or some guys at work, and they're like, what do you mean by anti-hero? And it's like, oh, in comics, he was a dick. Like, he was evil. Like, no, he, he was a he, bad guy. He led, like, groups to destroy Basically, Earth. an anti-hero is just someone who saves people, but doesn't mind killing. Yeah. Um. But, like, even, like, I don't know. It just seems... Like, we went over it last month. Uh, about all the new stuff that's coming out. Yeah. And nothing sounds great. Nothing sounds wonderful. I mean, and now you got to get through this, this point, year. It's just like, I'll see it when it happens. Yeah. And now you got to get through this year of the movies that have come out. And no, say, what's dumb is like, they put out one Flash trailer and it seems like everybody wants them. Ezra is fine, perfectly fine with Ezra yeah, Miller. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. Everybody's perfectly fine with Ezra Miller again. It's like, uh, no, y'all, y'all get the fucking rid of him. No. Just. Don't bring him back. Just get the fuck rid of him. Bring in. You a, get rid of Henry Cavill and keep Ezra Miller. Seriously, Henry Cavill, uh, Gal Gadot's gone. You should have fired Ezra Miller as soon as you saw how bad he ran as a, the Flash. Seriously, like y'all couldn't most like, unathletic run I've ever seen. Like the Flash TV show on CW. Yeah, it has gone off the rails. I mean, it's it's I ridiculous. Imagine. I mean, it's it's got like eight super speedsters now, yeah. and each villain's a new speedster demon or whatever. Yeah. And again, going back to what we've talked about with like Marvel's AI, like CGI, mm. the CGI on it, like they've lost their budget. Like, like no, they, they don't have the money anymore. Marvel, to keep I don't up. think it's budget. It's no, 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 I know, but I'm talking about like CW. Uh, yeah, like yeah. CW's lost. Yeah, no. like the Arrowverse was one of the coolest There's things that was ever came out said CW like hasn't made money for years. That could that would make a whole lot of sense. Yeah. Yet they're the ones that just got the contract to um, to to show live golf. I know it's. Different, but like, I mean, where ESPN has where, PGA Tour, uh, yeah. has the PGA series for golf, yeah. Liv is now going to go with CW, and it's like, I couldn't even get like, really? Fox or couldn't, yeah, you could get Fox, NBC, something better, but, oh. um, I mean, live sports does, I say that all these spring football leagues, I don't think do well. Uh, that can't be doing well. No. I mean, The Rock's pushing the XFL so At hard. least the USFL had enough sense to be like, yeah, we don't put us on there in March Madness. Exactly. And, and also, like, we've got these weird rules that kind of make the game a little more interesting. Like, we've got, like, they're stupid rules. Like, they're stupid. I but... don't know. When you can go for, after a touchdown, you can go for one, two, or three. That's that is kind of cool. cool. But, and then the XFL is just like, no, we are NFL in the spring. It's yeah, like, no, they, like, that's, I, I think it's one of the worst. And I say that because there's not a team in Birmingham. Well, that's it. Um, but them partnering with, with the NFLs and making it to where they're probably the only ones that's going to work. Well, right. Now, now, now they can the, get money from if them. If them and the USFL combine, and then like have like a 
NFL and the, like like yeah. the north like, like USFL is my it's uh, yeah. the south and XFL is north or yeah. something like that. No, if they if each team legit had a minor league, that'd yeah. be awesome. But, but that's pretty much what college is now. I mean, NCAA is pretty much just the minors now. Yeah, just here. Come on, let's go. Pull them right out and let's run. <laughs> but uh, where I was going with that is talking about how Ezra Miller was so horrible at running. The Flash CW show, mm -hmm. like, when Barry Allen got his powers, like, they spent half of a season teaching him how to run properly. Yeah. Like, run like a sprinter. Yeah. High hand. Like, all the perfect techniques. Yeah. When he runs, it looks, like it looks beautiful. Like, he looks like he's, he's like actually... flailing his arms. Yeah, he's not, like, running like he's in a fucking tornado. Yeah. Um, it, and it's like, no, no, couldn't have taken, like, five seconds to teach this dude how to, yeah. like... Five seconds to tell him, hey, man, you run like shit. Do this. And he's supposed to be a, what is it, a forensic genius? Yeah. He's like, a genius wouldn't look how to run properly. Exactly. I don't know, man. It's just, ever since Ezra Miller debuted in the, what was it, it was a Batman v Superman? No, Justice, Justice League. League. I've hated every second of it. The suit, him, yeah. everything. Suit did look pretty cool in that trailer. Uh, yeah, because they went away from whatever, like, Iron Man techno yeah. suit they created for Justice League. Yeah. He's a poor kid that has no money. It's a cloth suit that can resist flames. He's stealing, uh... Well, they went and he was stealing, like, pieces of the shuttle off. Yeah, it was, I don't know. It was weird. To resist, like... The, the heat, yeah. It's probably he could run without his clothes exploding and him running through the streets naked. Yeah. But, I don't know. It just... I'll be glad when... DC finally figures out their shit and either just... They're trying. They just... They gotta get through all this shit that was already made. Yeah. So, we got like six more months to figure it out or for them to get to their new shit. Ish. I'm coming from a guy who likes reading comics and hosts a podcast about comic books. Yeah. Kind of getting tired of superhero movies. I'm I'm not I'm, saying that. I'm getting tired of mediocre superheroes. I, I, I would agree. We we had this discussion or got to it about how like Oscars are so weird and yeah. shit, and no superhero should win an Oscar. Yeah, but yeah, we've gone now. Well, it's plus ten years. Well, we're at what fourteen years of Marvel yeah. and superhero movies being mm -hmm. like mainstream, and I think you are starting to see just the gluttony yeah. of like. Oh no! This hero now has to have a new niche that doesn't, that, of, that the other fifty didn't have, just I to keep people to, to interact with it. The boys is probably the best thing that came out last year of superhero boys. Um, that or did Spider Man come out last year? I can't remember. If Spider Man came out last year, it'd be those two. It's like well, yeah, Spider Man and that. But yeah. those are the only two I can specifically say a plus on. Oh yeah, yeah, and then the rest. I mean. She Hulk, I'd say a B minus. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Strange, an F. Yeah. Ant Man. <laughs> now that I've heard like some other people talk about it, like I saw it and I thought it was pretty good, but that was because I came into it. Anybody had re bought review? Oh yeah, it. yeah, just destroyed. So I just came in there with like low expectations. I thought it was fine, but then you think about it and it's just like, yeah. it wasn't that great. Um, tell you what, Scott's daughter's pretty hot. And I've, mm -hmm. I've Googled her age. She's legal age. Legal She's age. She's 24, 25. Damn, so really? I think so. Wow. Mm, all right. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's just, I don't, I don't know where movies and shit needs to go now, but, I don't know. I mean, talking about Knives Out a few years back, uh -huh. and now you've Great. got a second one, and it's like, why don't we, uh, Burt Kreischer, our favorite comedian, he's got a com mm -hmm. comedy Movie coming out. Let, let's let's low key like let's let's kind of transition back into. I'm low key like hoping for R rating comedies to come back. Yeah, um, because Bird's got that movie coming out. Um, Cocaine Bear was. Awesome. Did you see it? Cocaine oh, Bear is it exactly what it needs to be. Absolutely um, stupid comedy. We just saw a trailer for Jennifer Lawrence's new movie. Yeah, where she's like some poor person, but a rich family from like a uh of a socially awkward kid are trying to get them laid and so they basically trying to pimp out their kid <laughs> uh, but it looked funny as fuck uh there's just a bunch of stuff on that. I don't know. um it's 
No, not the Causeway. No hard feelings. Yeah. No. Um, doesn't have an air date. Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence tries everything to sleep with a nineteen year old. Nineteen year old. Yeah. And the trailer, like, that was fun. Like he is awkward as shit. Yeah. Um. But I, I don't know, man. It's just movies are getting. And then we were strolling through something, trying to find something to watch today, and you see movies like Dodgeball, Super Bad, yeah. I Love You, Man, all this other stuff, and it's just like, why did these movies ever go away? Um, so just some of the, just a quick look at what's coming out this year. And when you get Jack year, Black back in movies that, that aren't animated. Great. Yes. We're listening to uh, Tenacious D. The, yeah, one of the music. big Tenacious D. Yeah. Um, and just how... He just he just kind of disappeared. He, he just in like uh, Tropic Thunder, yes. which you definitely couldn't make today. But... No, you couldn't make today. But it's one of the greatest. Yeah, I, I fucking love it. It's absolutely stupid ass yeah. movie. Um, but some of the movies coming out this year, you've got the new Scream, which is again just a changing yeah. an old or uh, just readapting an old movie. And they've made it like a can they've turned it into a continuity now. They've Brought all the survivors together, yeah. and now apparently they yeah. hunt the ghost face guy. Mm. Uh, Creed 3, Cocaine Bear, uh, Winnie awesome. the Pooh horror movie, Quantumania. I uh, yeah. got Champions with... Uh, Champions does look funny. Um, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Coaching a special ed basketball team. It does look interesting. Uh, Missing, that was the one with the phone, like using social media to find yeah. her mom. That just looks absolutely stupid. Uh, Operation Fortune. I still need to see that. That looks funny. Um... Of course, Aquaman, Just Believe, some basketball movie. Uh, Haunted Mansion apparently comes out this year. Knock at the Cabin Door. Uh, the Rock's Christmas movie where he's a jacked up elf that works for Santa. Yeah. Uh, Fear, Plane, that was so stupid. Yeah. I mean, again. There's I mean, a bunch of horror movies coming out. I guess because they're cheap to make. But... Luther, The Fallen Sun. I don't know what that, that is. That like going to be interesting. Uh, it looks like not Idris Elba. Um Crap, crap, crap. What's his name? Jonathan Majors. E- no, it is Idris. Yeah, okay, it is yeah, Idris. Um, I don't know, man. Some of this, like, there's another Resident Evil coming out. Another ghost movie. Another ghost movie. Oh, Ghosted. That's this movie I was telling you about with uh, Chris Evans. He's the he's pretty much the dumb blonde oh, in this. I he, think I saw uh, trailer for that. Like, he's getting, like, he's, he's the idiot ghosted. that dates a... Um, super spy and oh. she's the one that turns out to be the secret agent and he tries to go after her but she ghosted him and I'm gonna have to, to him anymore. start canceling some of these subs- uh, streamers yeah and then get Apple back I know man it's Paramount I am, is about I to am go. really I, I, we keep Paramount we watch Yellowstone 1923 only thing uh, on there I like is the Sylvester Sylvester Stallone mob Tulsa King. Oh, you like that one? Yeah. Man, it started that one. I like that one. Uh, Mayor of Kingstown is really good. I like it with uh, Hawkeye. Uh, uh, what else? And then just kind of the stupid old comedy mm-hmm. or cartoon shit just to have something on sometime. But I'm getting real damn close to cut canceling Netflix. Yeah. Like, like uh, every I now and then. I don't pay for mine. My parents pay for uh, my Netflix uh, and I we, pay for everything else. Yeah, we, I pay for that one. And it's like... Every now and then, it's just like one show. Yeah, keep one yeah up. one show that keeps me in it, and then yeah. Bert's then the comedy specials start yeah. coming out, and it's like the second y'all stop putting comedy on here, I'm out. Oh yeah, like once Bert says he's going is the is minute it, all these guys get together and just make their own like comedy streaming comedy yeah. streaming thing, and basically treat it as a comedy YouTube where they can put out whatever they want on there. However they want to say it. Like, literally, if Joe Rogan, Tom Segura, Burt... I mean, Louis K. already has his own website, so he has no need to. Yeah. But as soon as that whole crew just goes... The guy that... We're going to put YouTube in... YouTube special uh, that we watched. Shane Gillis. Yeah. And the uh, minute those guys all just go, hey, we're going to pull our money together and make our own streaming yeah. service. I, th- I think they'd make... They'd make bank. To yeah. me, they would. Mm. I mean, Burt said many a time, like... Even with Netflix, like there's stuff they he can't like there's jokes they pull yeah. from his special. It's like yeah, then they, they don't have to go line. through checks and processes and all that. And right. So. But yeah, no, um, yeah, I just uh, 
It didn't think I would ever get to the superhero fatigue. I'm, but again, it's I'm tired of mediocre, or just above it's average. Just, yeah, I mean now they're it, they're just putting them out to put them out. Like, yeah. Oh, we know this will make. Yeah. Our budget for the year. This will make two hundred million dollars in the opening weekend or yeah. some bullshit like that. It's like, I mean, it's the same shit that a huge professional wrestling fan and when WWE, especially when Vince was running it. Doesn't have any competition. They don't try that fucking. Yeah, they don't try. I mean, it's and then as soon as they get some competition, they have one of the best damn storylines they've ever had, and what they got going on right now. Yeah, I don't know. And and we need that. We need that back. We need DC to stand there and actually go, hey, no, we can make good movies. Yeah, we can have an overarching. Hell, we need the big two to go. Hey, we can make good comics. (laughs) Yeah, how about that? Uh, I mean, it's just. I don't know. It's, it's getting interesting. And I think the whole, I don't know, our, I won't go there. Yeah, all right. Um, speaking of interesting books, though, today we're reading, or we've read. We've read. We only find them when they're dead. Yes. Um, possibly one of the biggest cocktees books I've ever read. Oh, yeah. It's it's definitely a I'll very. tell you what. Because this is one of the ones we, I think when we started the show, this is coming out as like a monthly issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty close this to when we started. This a million times better as a volume than it does as a single issue. Oh, dude, this is... I Because I remember just getting fresh every, every time I bought it. And it's like a million times better. Yeah. So, see, this is where we're like, why not just make this a one-off? Like, I understand that's how it's always been done. But you could easily just have made this one book, fifteen to twenty dollars, mm-hmm. and it would have, for, like format wise, it would have read a lot better. Yeah, because instead you're gonna probably not make your money back in uh, floppy issues. Not a chance. Yeah, I don't know. Um, before we get too far deep into it, I'll yeah. hit up all of our credits. Luck, there's some weird names in there. Yeah, uh, written by Al Ewing. Illustrated yeah. by Simone D. Mio, Mayo, M-E-O, uh, with color assist by Maris, Marisara Miati, lettered by And World Design. And then, of course, mm-hmm. our covers, Dead by Dead God, Variants, all sorts of crazy yeah. stuff. Um, but, so I have, of course, I read, I have kept up with getting the singles yeah. the whole time. And I have read... I think I got... To like the third one of the second book. Yeah, and I've read. I think I finished. And they the came second out and book. said they were gonna. It's basically three books of five issues. Yeah, and that was gonna be the whole thing. Yeah, I didn't even. I didn't see. I just looked at the volumes. I didn't see a third one on there, so I don't know if it's still going or not. Um. Yeah, I've got. So I've, of course, like I said, I've been keeping up with it on Comicsology, and I've got the fifteenth issue out. Okay. I haven't read it, of course. They just haven't got to the volume yet. I guess not. But again. I tried to read it one at a time, keep up with it, and it was the most... It, like, I have no idea what I read. Yeah. Like, it, so much stuff happens yeah. so quickly, and they do so many cutbacks. Oh, yeah, they time hop like something. That even, like, right now, I, I there's some ideas that have happened in the in the next book. Yeah. But, like, reading this again, it has nothing... They still have not tied it back. Like, well, nothing has been tied back. So I've read the first two, and yeah. then... They don't address some very glaring questions yeah. right away. And so that's when I just kind of fell off on it. But uh, I remember seeing the pitch for this, and it was just like, giant gods, we're going to go find them. And thought that was mainly what's going to be well, about. Well, and the cover, the, yeah. the variant cover we saw with the whole god yeah. standing in front of a ship is like, there. Yeah. We're reading that. And, um, but yeah, so like I thought it was going to be more about that. Mm-hmm. This first book was clearly more about. Um, now that I've read it all at once, yeah, clearly about uh government and corporate overreach, mm-hmm. um, personal vendettas, uh, just that feeling of like we should be meant for more of this, yeah, and there's not a suburb kid out there that can't relate to that, exactly. Um, so yeah, uh, I enjoyed it way more as a volume than I did as single issues, yeah. Um, um and I gotta say. Love the art and absolutely love oh, the colors. The art and colors are some of the coolest things yeah. in this. 
Um, I will say there are some points just kind of thumbing through it on mm-hmm. here, just the first volume, our first issue. There, there are some. I had to go into on the Comicsology app, yeah. like on the on the Kindle, where you can like close in and it yeah. takes you screen by screen. Yeah. Like sometimes I had to do that to keep like where everything was, oh, yeah. and then I had to come back out and go. I appreciate okay. the art. Yeah, and then yeah, it, yeah. I had to put everything back in sequence. Yeah. Just because it was just so much stuff mm-hmm. happening at one time, but this is so cool. I mean, you got space and dead gods and very creative. Um, uh, this is the type of stuff like. I know we all love superheroes, but sometimes you need a little something shit, different. Sometimes shit like this is the great. Yeah. Um, I did. What did get weird to me was like the whole. Like, there's a god that comes every day. Like, this isn't something that happens once a month. Or, I thought it was once a year. Oh, the way I figured it was like every day. Like the bell tolls at eight at twelve, eight bells. Well, they kept jumping years, so I just assumed a year. And maybe it was, maybe I'm thinking they talked about it uh, in like the first issue of the second book, because I, it's a little spoilery, uh, getting into the first issue of the second uh, volume, I think they talk about like, after Gorgeous came back, no more, then, then that's like, when, right, no, no more started coming right. That's what, and they were. I think at some point they go. It was either like every year or every so many years. Yeah, probably. I'm pretty sure this was every day. There's a there's know. a god because I mean we jump from George's starting to like where we're actually yeah. at. It's like, uh, and then jumping back to Richter, the uh, the cop. Ooh. It's like thirty years and fifty years and thirty, yeah. and I'm I'm pretty sure it's every year, every day somebody's yeah. coming out. Um, but man, this art. Mm-hmm. Um. But just, could you imagine, like, the first people that did find a dead god, like, and then all of a sudden just yeah, decided. Yeah, like, what the fuck is it? And yeah, like, like, well, that's kind of. Yeah, like, like, that was the next move is, yeah. like, oh, we found this dead being in space. Cool. Oh, then nothing Nothing's showed up. On. Let's figure out, like, and yeah. then, like, your whole civilization revolves around yeah. the meat of the god. Mm-hmm. And then the heart of the god gives you special things and there's elements in the armor that allow Mm -hmm. you to create weapons and ships and just the evolution of like this one resource industry yeah this one resource is how we're going to Mm -hmm. survive our whole universe is going to thrive from now on um i don't know man it's cool Uh, and then the whole time warping thing of like the gods get smaller as they yeah, enter, yeah. like as they yeah. as they traverse through time. So it's like I remember because this really just builds to like the fourth and fifth issue, and then they start just deep diving into why Richter and Gorgeous don't like each other. Yeah, and um, that moment where like I think it was like an issue one. They say, "Hey, watch the uh, meteors because mm-hmm. um, when they're small, they're like bullets out here." And then just the payoff of like her getting sniped and him taking her shit. Yeah. Now I was. A I little... completely forgot that I couldn't remember what happened to the brother and sister. Yeah. But them, like he admits that, like, oh yeah, we, I sat out so my brother would be on that ship to yep. compromise you, and so in the future we'd have someone that would watch our back and yep. let us have a patsy. Yeah. yeah. Or let we'd us. We have a cop on the payroll. Yeah. And, I mean. You're sleeping with this dude, and that's all it takes for you to turn around and leave? That's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. Like, yeah, and the uh, the two assistants that were with George's, mm-hmm. is that what you mean? Like, them just all of a sudden, like, that's what... Yeah. yeah. Like, he had the one friend that grew up with him, yeah. and she got shot. Mm-hmm. And then, like, the two, the knife, and then, like, the co-pilot or whatever. Yeah. That were brother like, and sister. Oh, that's, that's the line we're drawing here to... Like, really? Yeah. Yeah. I did he think that was. You like, didn't know they were all going to die. <laughs> like that was a little odd about how, like they were so gung ho and devoted to him. Yeah. Well, she wasn't. She was doing it for her brother. Yeah. But her brother was like, "No, I'm with you. Yeah. I love you. I want to do this." Uh, to just go, oh, that was your dark secret. Yeah, fuck you. Like, like really? Like y'all haven't been y'all have been planning to run from the government yeah. and just like completely yeah. say fuck you to everyone in y'all's universe. Yeah. And, then and like, that's what he pretty you much just did. hope you get back and be like, well, we have all this recordings and readings from yeah. the live God. Maybe that's where something can get us out of jail. No. Like, seriously? They can take that. Um, 
But again, like, and then you end this with George's getting back in Richter's ship, yeah. the police officer's ship, and it somehow works, even though it said it failed. When well, no, they said it takes oh, like five minutes right. to flush it, it the had engines. To flush the engines. Um, then all of a sudden, he just he comes to pretty much like a funeral scene where they're passing the dead guy or yeah. almost dead god back mm-hmm. into time. Still doesn't explain how he becomes yeah. a god though. Which of course is one of the coolest. I mean, you you jump forward. Yeah, uh, that was my biggest thing. Is like the gods got me here, and you didn't explain anything about the gods at all. Right, that was my main gripe about the book. Um, because the whole time we're like dealing twenty three sixty seven, and then all of a sudden when he goes through, we jump to twenty three seventy six. So nine years later, there has not been a single god, yeah. and then George just falls out of space. Yeah, yeah. Like, or his god, his god like self, and looks alive and like he's about to like. Yeah, he looks. Head. He's screaming. His eyes are lit. Yeah. I mean, it's. I don't know. And yeah. again, the bits we've read into the next ones, they still don't. It's just kind of like, oh no, book two is completely separate from book one. For real? It's it's it. I mean, it has something to do with this, but it's like I know it gets a little. They start worshiping Clarges' body or something, but but it's like we still haven't explained like why George's is a god or like why his body's here. And then the next, I yeah. It's going to be weird if, or it's going to be funny if we've just been pronouncing either Gorgeous or George's. I, I, I call it George's. I mean, it's okay. spelled just like George, like George, yeah. just with an S on the end. I'm sure it's. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just addressing that now. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. I mean, it's, we're that. reading. It's the same way most people talk about, like, how they used to say Hermione in Harry Potter, like Hermione or, like, they just read it how they how it was spelled. Yeah. And the first time anybody ever heard it was in the movie. Of, oh, that's how you pronounce it. There's a lot of Pokemon like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, pretty fun book. Um, maybe go back to it. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably go read the second volume now that it's all together. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely it. Again, this is a read it as a volume. Yeah, like for if sure. you if you sit down and get it, get it read. It's fast. Like oh, it's really it fast. Won't take maybe thirty minutes to an yeah. hour. But get it read. Don't put it down and come back to it in a year yeah, or no. four months or a week. Like you'll forget yeah. all the little intricacies. Um, that being said, time to go to our segment, which is personal recommendation. Woohoo! Um, I'll do mine on uh, second month in a row. I'll just do it based off the hoodie I'm wearing. <laughs> um, if you like any type of card games, uh, Pokemon, Magic, Yu Gi Oh! A uh, new One Piece game out there is a lot of fun. And you're in the Birmingham area, Card Addicts is the store I go to. It's a really good store, a lot of play space. One one of the most important things you would think about in a card shop is having enough room to play, enough room for people to sit at tables. Yeah. And seemingly, they can only do small uh, small places. At, at this place? No, this, oh, one, oh, this one has plenty of room. Um, and then they seemingly take, you know... There are some card stores that only take magic seriously. Yeah. They give everybody their due. Um, they have just about every game. I know One Piece, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Magic all have their own nights. You can go play tournaments. And then um, if you do it competitively, if Pokemon ever brings their local stuff back, we'll be running cups and stuff like that. Um, a lot of fun. Um, and just... Great selection of singles. Obviously, they have sealed products, stuff like that, too. Um, they also have some D&D stuff that you can buy there, like the books yeah. and campaigns and stuff and little minifigures and cool. just a whole bunch of stuff. Cool. And uh, I enjoyed that store. Probably, in my opinion, the best one in Birmingham area. So. Cool. Because we've definitely... Card Addicts in Pelham. Especially, like, when we get started comics and, like, mm-hmm. finding stores that we liked yeah. and stuff. You definitely walk into some, one here in Huntsville. Yes. And, and that's, like, you walk in and it says, we're a comic book store. With cards. And then you walk in yeah. and it's 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 Five comics. Tables. Yeah. Um, one place that you try to sell your cards at one time. Yeah. You walk in and there's no comics. So they say they're a comic book store. And it's, like. D and D or yeah. war, like it was like like they were like. No, this is we are one focused mind. Here. If you're one that uh, you know maybe you like your comic book stores not to have a card shop in it, understand. If you like your card shop not to have comic book store in it, understand. Yeah. This is solely cards, and then um, they don't have like. I know there are some places that have like separate rooms for D and D. They don't have that, but you can buy. I mean, it's all tabletop gaming, so they. 
Cool. Have some of the stuff there. Awesome. Um, Card Addicts, Birmingham, Tullyfin. I said, what's up? <laughs> yeah, spread our names. Go yeah. out. Tell people we y'all found us. Yeah. Uh, mine's going to be... He didn't pay for that, by the way. <laughs> um, mine's going to be uh, partly because uh, Daredevil has said that John Bernthal will reprise his role as the Punisher. Oh, yeah. Uh, which is amazing. Bring them all back. Can we get Luke Cage back? Um, that would be amazing. Could redo Iron Fist, but either way. And Jessica Jones. Um, my rec's going to be go rewatch the Daredevil series and the Punisher series. Yeah. Uh, kind of that whole Netflix mm-hmm. uh, Daredevil universe that they created. Uh, it's fucking fun. Yeah. It's edgy. It's all on dark. Disney Plus now. Um, Daredevil is like one of those I can just legitimately just turn on at any time and yeah. watch. And, and now that we have Daredevil back, uh, Kingpin back and Punisher back from that series. Yeah. Uh, it feels like, hopefully, the new series will go darker. Like get away from the Disney, Disney clean, we hope. safe. And he did just, have to do a walk of shame. Huh? He did have to do a walk of shame and she hulk uh, Yeah, that is true. Um, I don't think they're going nearly as dark as uh, Netflix did, but but like just like you don't have to be. G rated, like, yeah. like, bump it up to PG 13. Yeah, like, give it the darkness, give it, give it more edge. I mean, you're in the streets of New York, yeah. so hopefully, they they give it its due. Um, hopefully, it doesn't get uh, comic book heroized and just plastered all over the place just to have just, to throw, doing just the, to throw Daredevil's name back. They do the make them do a whole bunch of flips and shit. Have if, if you watched the old yet? Yeah, we, I watched all the yeah. Hulk. Yeah. He's a lot more flippy like he is in the comics and does like yeah, more stylish which is, ones. That's fine. Um, just beat the shit out of somebody. Show, show them. Show do a fucking, hallway scene. Oh, God, a hallway scene. Do a proper scene. hallway scene. Oh, that would be awesome. One camera angle. I The feat yeah. that that would have to take. It's, it's like watching a Rube, a Gold, of like a Rube Goldberg's machine. Like, if one dude messes up, oh, yeah. one part of the puzzle messes up, like, if you're 95% through and that dude steps the wrong way, yeah. back to zero. Mm-hmm. I wonder how, I do wonder how many times they had to actually shoot that hallway scene to oh, get it right. That's pretty, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. But, um, yeah. You got any closing comments? I don't know. What's Enjoy. next week? Uh, next week is going to be Go Go Loser Ranger. Go Go Loser Ranger. We actually, I wouldn't say we're super early, but we got to a manga before yeah. the anime came yeah. out. Um, and if you're a Power Ranger lover, it's a great, it's a great twist on that. So go great check out Volume 1. Uh, we're going to be doing that next week. Yes, and uh, we'll see you all next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.